Hello folks. So in this video, I will introduce a Docker to you uh, and will be letting you know what exactly Docker is. So folks, uh, there are times when you know we face an issue uh, when a particular code works on development environment, but when we move it over to testing environment, then it doesn't work, right? So this is a kind of a frustration uh, which we face, you know, some way or other. Uh, so Docker is your savior here uh, in this kind of situation as it resolves this kind of uh, problem. So now uh, before we move forward we with the question what Docker is, we shall see where does the Docker fit into and in the in which particular phase of the project uh, software project lifecycle. So we have stages of software lifecycle uh, as given here. So first phase is uh, requirement gathering or planning. And the next one is a uh, design. Uh, the next one is development where uh, the developers uh, code the application. And then after that comes a uh, testing. So testing can be unit testing or system testing or uh, integration testing, right? So once uh, all that testing happens and we get, uh, get all the sign offs from the business folks or the end use, uh, sorry, the users uh, which are actually uh, testing this application, we move into the deployment phase. Uh, so the deployment phase is nothing but, you know, moving your code into production, right? So that uh, it can be, you know, uh, uh, presented to the end user or, uh, you know, the folks which are going to use this particular software application. And then uh, lastly, uh, there is a ment maintenance phase wherein, uh, you know, this particular code which has been developed and moved into uh, you know a production environment needs to be maintained uh, regularly. So Docker comes at the picture uh, where uh, where we have a phase called deployment phase, right? So all the Docker is utilized at all the levels, but uh, you know Docker helps more at a deployment phase in order to make uh, this process easier by seamlessly deploying uh, the applications and you know without a lot of issues. So Docker uh, is a software container platform which is you know designed to develop, uh, designed to actually deploy and uh, run applications uh, by using containers, right? So basically, we don't have to worry about if uh, particular software, uh, be it database, front end, libraries, is not compatible with certain uh, other platforms like you know. Uh, uh, Windows operating system, Linux operating system, you know, or, you know, Mac operating system. So uh, these are the kind of situations. So container helps developers to package an application with the, all of the parts it needs, such as particular software libraries, dependencies, and then it ships uh, this uh, particular uh, application as one package, you know. So now, developer will package software and its dependencies and libraries into a box, which we will call container. And Docker will take care of shipping this container to all the required platforms in a standard way. So guys, this is it for this video and I will be covering next topic in the upcoming videos. So keep on watching. Thank you.